Hi everybody, this is Yogi Angel 7, just coming in really quick to wish happy birthday to some people who may or may never hear <laughs> um, my wishes. But one is to my mom, and the other is to Dame Elizabeth Taylor, and they share a birthday. Now, uh, my mom's name is Francine, but that's just in English. We don't really even call her that. We usually call her Froma, which means kind of like um, religious woman, I guess you could say. And she really is in so many ways, but more in a spiritual sense because, I mean, like even if you just ask her how she's doing for the day or how are you or whatever, she always says, um, Baruch Hashem, better and better, which is kind of like blessings for God or praise God, um, that she's better and better every day. And I, and I, growing up as a kid, you know, I didn't really understand what that meant, but now I think I really understand what that means, and it's like a prayer to hear it every time, and yet it still surprises me every time, and you'd think I would have gotten used to it or whatever, but it still always makes me smile and warms my heart. Well, so they share a birthday, and because of that, I guess, maybe, when my mother was a lot younger, there used to be comparisons um, just because of their beauty and that kind of thing. And I don't know if it was just the hair or whatever, but she used to dress up and actually like pull it off at parties or whatever sometimes that people would think that she was, just for a minute even sometimes. She said it was kind of funny. And I have a picture of my mom on her wedding day actually, and her hair is all up kind of in that same Buffon style. And um, so I'm just going to give you a little picture of my mom on her wedding day. So this is my mom. Of course she's in the middle, right? And... My cousin's right underneath her, and I guess she served as the flower girl, and then there's grandmas on either side. So, yeah, who doesn't love old pictures? <laughs> Anyways, so Dame Elizabeth could probably use a prayer, too. She's still in the hospital with her heart. And um, it's kind of interesting to me that it is her heart, uh, because that's always the part of her that I always thought was the most beautiful, um, particularly with her charity work and the way in which she treats other people. Um, I don't know why people always wanted to concentrate on her marriages because the way in which she treated so many disenfranchised and very ill people when people wouldn't even touch them or talk about um, you know, things like AIDS at all. Um, she was really a visionary of um, you know, how to care for people and truly love them. So I hope everybody has a wonderful birthday if it's your birthday. <laughs> And I still have a Yamiko gifts for people to share if you want them. I also have an Yamiha card. If you private message me, I'd like to send to you. And it's just a simple card. You know how people have a card that they make every year. Well, mine is an Yamiha card. And it's just a couple pictures of the baby. But if you want one, I'd be happy to send it to you. And, uh, yeah. So, hope to talk with you later. Thanks. Take care. Great blessings. Bye.